Hello and welcome to our video introducing you to why we are teaching and learning about innovation within fashion innovation. I'm Terry Bolt, LPMR Professor of Innovation Security at the University of Colorado Springs. I came to UCCS to help found the Bachelor of Innovation, drive this new way of looking at how we're going to teach. So let's start by asking a question, why are we looking at innovation? Well, innovation is the value driver for our economy. If we increase productivity, we increase the wealth that we can create within our nations. For decades, companies have been hearing about the imperative of innovate or die. When I was in my own companies, I couldn't actually hire people with the skills I really wanted. Looking around the NAE, National Association of Engineering, Engineering 2020 basically came to the same conclusion, innovation is the key. They go on to say that it's not even something you can solve with one course or one program or one department. They really need a large scale solution. So if innovation is so important, why aren't schools teaching innovation? I kept asking myself, why, why, why does somebody do something about it? And then I realized, I'm somebody, we should do something about it. So if we started looking at why schools don't actually do this, we recognize that universities are often in silos with different departments not really talking. It doesn't matter if they're IV covered silos or high tech silos or artistic silos, academics love their little silos. They love to live in their little isolated areas. On the other hand, innovation is really interdisciplinary. It's the intersection of people and business and technology and how things work. So then what is innovation? Is it creativity? No. Creativity is thinking up new things. Innovation is doing new things. Is it technology and research? Well, not really. It doesn't matter how much dollars you spend. Uh, Apple was outperforming IBM, even they spent a lot more at IBM on R&D. It's about how you lead people. Research is the transformation of money into knowledge. Innovation is transferred of knowledge into money. Peter Drucker, venerable business icon, uh, views it as a specific instrument of in entrepreneurship that allows you to have new and create new wealth. When Jay Smith goes farther, it's not even just about creating value, it's about capturing value. So then, if it's not an idea, innovation, or research, what is it? Well, we define it as a process. It often has all of those steps put together. We define it as the process of transforming ideas about any part of your problem into impact. So we view innovation is equal to ideas plus execution, and ideas are the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot more in the execution underneath. And it's a teachable process. We view it as a process where you look at discovering opportunities, figuring out ideas, testing them, applying, scaling them, and iterating them multiple times through the different parts of solving a problem and bringing it to market. So can we really teach this? Well, if you look at how this chart, we look at internal drive to have an impact, entrepreneurial mindset, and science and technology skills, there's some people who are natural innovators. Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, they didn't need any training to become innovators and entrepreneurs. And there's some people who will never be there, but most of us can learn to become an innovator with the right education and the right engaging experiences. And there's some people that are a little harder, but we can get them on an innovation team and everybody can be part of rowing towards that new kind of innovation economy we're trying to build. So we started by saying innovation is interdisciplinary. We actually view it as multidisciplinary. You don't have to have all the skills, you just have to work with a team that does. So innovation to us is a team thing. So in the Bachelor of Innovation, we actually have an innovation core, and then we have majors in 18 different fields in business, arts and humanities, education, game design, science and engineering, computer science security. You can major in any of those things and still get a common core in innovation and entrepreneurship. So if we look at how it's structured, a standard BA, BS has a major and a bunch of electives, general education stuff around it. In the BI, we take that outside part, the general education and electives, redefine those into an innovation core and a cross-disciplinary core, and pretty much leave the major close to being left alone. In that innovation core, we have the core courses in innovation, and then across this plenary, you look at things in technology, entrepreneurship, globalization, or creative communications. In the innovation core, we have a course in technical proposal writing where students will write real proposals with partners for real money. We have a course in business and intellectual property law where you learn about the value of IP, how to protect it, and why it's so important in today's economy as well as the rest of business law. We get you working in teams, not once, not just twice, and in those teams, we're going to make you learn to learn and get you growing on their scope so that you can eventually work with clients and lead your own team in your third time in the teams class. Those kinds of team experiences are vary from very small clients that are just launching their own new businesses into very large companies that, because of NDAs we don't talk about, but billion, multi-billion dollar companies. We've helped the companies on the screen here win millions in federal funding. So the BI is an award-winning program with 18 fields right now and over almost 400 students in four different colleges. If you want to learn about innovation, go Google it. You'll find out we are the leading hit you'll get. So you might be asking, how do you start? Well, you're going to come talk to us at UCCS and see what we can get you to do. Innovation isn't about talking about stuff, it's doing stuff. If you want to make an impact, if you want to change the world, you're going to have to start down a different path. And only those people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are those who are going to do it. So if you want to change the world, 
Let's talk about how you can do a BI. Let's get you into innovation. Join us at UCCS to innovate you, and let's see how we can get together and make an impact.